Welcome to the week number 15 overview for managerial economics here at Rutgers University in Camden. And week 15, you may be taking the optional final exam. Realize the final exam is optional. You do not have to take this. On December 7th, roughly around that time, I will post provisional grades for students. If you decide that you are happy with your provisional grade, and decide not to take the optional final exam, your provisional grade becomes your final grade for the course. If you decide that you would like to improve your provisional grade, you can then take the optional final exam, and this optional final exam will replace the lowest test score of the four module tests that you took during the semester. Make sure that you remember that once you commit to taking the optional final exam you are taking it. There is no changing your mind after, for example, your first attempt and you decide, I don't want to take the optional final exam. Once you start taking the optional final exam, you must complete the optional final exam and that will replace your lowest grade out of the module test from the semester. Also realize, as with the other tests, you have three attempts with the third attempt, or not the third, but the highest attempt counting towards your grade, so your highest attempt of the three will replace your lowest module test score from the semester. Again, what we're doing here is I'm just going to give you a quick distribution of the questions by chapter so you can see uh, which chapters are relatively more important than others. Honestly, the distribution is, is pretty even. There are a few chapters that are a little lighter than others. For example, chapter one only has three questions and that's 3% of the total. So make sure you realize that. Chapter two has eight questions for 8%. Chapter three has seven questions for 7%. Chapter four has seven questions also for 7%. And the same holds for chapter five that has seven questions. Chapter 6 also has 7 questions, Chapter 7 has 6, Chapter 8 has 7, Chapter 9 has 6, Chapter 10 also has 6, Chapter 11 also has 6 questions, Chapter 12 has 4, so that Chapter 12 is a little lighter than the other chapters from the semester. Chapter 14 has 6 questions, Chapter 15 has 5 questions, Chapter 16 also has five questions, and chapter 17 has six questions for that, for the uh, optional final. So make sure you're aware of that. As you can see, the distribution is pretty evenly distributed. There's a few chapters that are a little lighter than others. Uh, chapter 1 and chapter 12 are light relative to the other one, so make sure you're aware of that so you can plan accordingly in preparing for the optional final exam. As again, as I always state, make sure you use the study plan. I think it's a powerful tool used in an iterative process to improve your knowledge and improve your score. So make sure, number one, that you avail yourself of all three uh, attempts on the optional final exam. And as I stated previously, I would highly recommend that you take your first attempt early in the week. That way you get an idea what you know and what you're struggling with and that will give you ample time to work the study plan and work through the areas that you are having difficulty with.